Hello, my friends. How are we doing today? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Lovely to have you all out here. Good to have you. Welcome on in. Hello, hello, hello. How are we doing? We're vibing. We got the good Wednesday vibes, hopefully. I don't, I don't know. It is it is Wednesday, so you know that that is what it is. I'm pressing the wrong buttons. Okay, there we go. Hi, everybody. How are we doing? Welcome on in. Good to have you out here. Hello, hello, hello. Lovely to be here. We got some hardcore Minecraft action happening as per the use today. And we're going to be working on a very, very old project that I've decided I want to upgrade and retrofit a little bit. So uh, we're doing that. It's Thursday. No, no, it's Wednesday. I wish it was Thursday, but it's still Wednesday. Thursday. Well, it might be Thursday where you are, but it's Wednesday here. Uh, we have a new video dropping tomorrow. Under 24 hours, there will be a new hardcore episode dropping. Super excited about that. First one back for the year, which was really, really cool. And uh, it's probably going to be the only one of the month. <laughs> we got some shorts that have been going out too. That's been really fun. Um, the reason why it took so long for me to get stream started with that, what, six minutes when we're in here now is I was looking at Twitch just released their an update to several streamer payout programs. Uh, if you are a live streamer, it's a good read. It's a good read. It has me potentially interested in trying dual streaming again. So we'll we'll see where that lands. But basically, they're guaranteed they're giving more revenue to streamers. They're giving people better uh, revenue splits and things like that after you get above certain thresholds. Um, which uh, they pre that was the reason why I left Twitch originally. Uh, is because they wouldn't give me anything above a 50 50 but uh now they're um if you can get 300 subs you get a 70 30 split so or 300 sub points so i don't know a little, a little bit of stuff going on over there sorry i'm late what did i miss you we're just getting started over here we are all all good my friends leave a like if you have not already we got 700 people in here we're at 300 likes so there's 400 of you that um uh, can still click that like button for me which i would very much appreciate can you dual stream twitch and youtube at the same time yes you can you can now uh even if you're a partner on twitch you can dual stream youtube has never had rules against it and twitch earlier this year got rid of the rule against it well earlier this year last year last year like four months ago something like that um so we'll see how it lands but fufu thank you so much for the seven months i smashed the like for our flipper have you adore the streams and you can't wait to see what 2024 brings for you thank you so very much Fufu. i appreciate the seven months charlotte thank you so much for the 22 months you're so close to the purple tree look at you i really do appreciate it thank you for all the support crinden thank you so much for the 10 gift memberships those are going out to gasnika jessica the ice queens jordan alexis we got joris we got izzy we got lagging we got random Jake and Lila, thank you all so much for being here. I do appreciate your time. Thank you for hanging out. You're a member now again. Oh boy. And we also have the Wheat Queens becoming a member. Thank you so very much. I do appreciate it. Hi, everybody. How are we doing today? Welcome on in. It's a Wednesday. We're doing the things. <sighs> We're doing the things. <laughs> that's all I got today. That's that's where my brain's at so far. <laughs> You gonna play Power World? I've been playing Power World a lot off stream. I'm on Scott's server. If anybody's been watching him play, he's streamed a few times. I've just been enjoying it with some friends who are not nice content creators. We just have a little base on there that we've been playing and messing around in. So on the server, I'm already level 30. I hit 30 last night on Power World. It's really fun. It's really, really fun. Nice to meet you. Um, I've seen a little bit of the controversy behind it and everything like that uh, with they're being accused of stealing from Pokemon and everything. Um, but I mean, <laughs> it's one of those things where like, sure, there's there's it's a little ambiguous and uh, I wish they had done things a little bit differently. Um, so I'm not really sure if I'm going to be creating content on it. But I think the big thing that I've noticed is just how much better of a game it is <laughs> pokemon relies so much on the nostalgia fix to keep people interested in the games and everything like that and they're really either it's out of laziness or they're out, they're being hindered by only developing onto nintendo platforms and the like the quality you can get off of the hardware of nintendo stuff is really really bad so like the games are just not great like pokemon games when they come out they look so old like when they're released 
you can compare them to a game like five ten years ago and the graphics and gameplay quality is the same and that sucks um so i think it really just shows that uh i don't know i think there's a, a market for it and yeah <laughs> i will how you doing see it worked you did get the mod look at that wow you can talk now uh power world is definitely the dark side of pokemon yeah for people who haven't played it uh it's a brutal game it's imagine pokemon with guns and um part of the gameplay is uh you need food to survive being to be a survival too. game and the world is only filled with pals that would be the equivalent of a pokemon um and you need food so there there you go that's that's kind of most of it <laughs> Julie, thank you so much for the 10 months. I really do appreciate it. So happy to be able to catch streams again. Welcome on in. Good to have you. Good to have you. General RV, thank you so much for the membership. Excited for the new video. I hope everybody has a nice day. Like the stream and get those good Wednesday vibes. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. I do appreciate it. Everybody, we got 850 people in here now. And we're at 450 likes. There's still 400 people that haven't clicked the like button. I'm just saying that we can do it. So the only time it is justified is to, to go vegetarian. Yeah, but the problem is, is that your pals also Based need to eat Joe. food and some of them aren't vegetarians. Some of them are carnivorous. And also there's certain items you can only get by um, using the butcher knife that you can make in game. And I'm gonna just let you fill in the blanks from there. As so does the game. The game decided it was too gruesome. So when you use it, it literally just pixelate blurs out the, the, the pal that is um, being sacrificed. <laughs> but it's really funny. The game's fun though. It's really addicting. Uh, it's uh, I've unfortunately put how many I did. I think I'm almost at, let me check. Let me I, I have steam open already. How many hours have I put into it? Um, I've already put 18 hours into Pal World, and I, I'm a little ashamed of that. I will say, though, Enshrouded came out today, um, and we're going to be streaming that next week sometime with a few of the friends, and I'm super excited for it. I think it's going to be really, really fun to check that out and kind of see what that game is. I've been really excited for Enshrouded for probably six, eight months uh since i heard about it a long long time ago so i'm really excited to see kind of how the gameplay works and i really i've been really trying to find a game and a group of people to meet on like a weekly basis and stream and just play for a few hours and kind of keep doing that consistently that's not a minecraft thing just to have something and have a crew that's kind of just there playing a game and exploring and doing that um so i gotta we got some people together i don't really want to say the whole list uh but some of the original the og crew um that we're going to be hanging and just starting playing. I think it's going to be next Monday. Uh, we have to double check on the days and everything like that. But yeah, it's a, uh, it'll be fun. It'll be some good stuff. We got, we got a lot of cool games coming out right now. I've seen a lot of people say this is the year of the survival gamers, like survival games. And I'm kind of here for it. I like survival games. I feel like it's a genre that needs a lot of life breathed into it and some newness, which I think so far, if we're starting off the year with Pal World and Enshrouded, that newness is really in there because a lot of the old survival games like Ark and Rust and those things, they're so focused on just making the experience of living in the world the whole chore of playing the game. And I, I don't find those fun. Whereas these new ones seem to be more about exploring the world and like leveling up and getting through tech trees and getting stronger and everything like that. So um, I think it's gonna be cool. Kickers, you can just pause and then like fast forward in like five minutes when you come back and then that'll be good. Adol, thank you so much for the 12 months, my dude. I really do appreciate it. Proud member for one year now. Hey, I really appreciate that. Thank you so very much. Wish you an awesome stream and chat like the stream. There we go. That's what we got to do. That's what we got to do. American Mailing, welcome on in. Hello, hello, hello. There's still bad games, so it's definitely not laziness. It's the devs need to quit all at once. Pokemon devs get cycled every year, too. So basically hiring and firing every year. I mean, yeah, I, I think it's like the most recent one. What was it? Like the full open world Pokemon game that they had where you're supposed to be able to explore and everything like that like it's you can't deny that that world that they developed in and like the texturing in it and everything like that is so bad that it looks like a game that came out in like 2002 and it came out in 
2020. <laughs> it's so bad. Every texture in it is tiled. It does not wrap correctly. You can see little lines at the end of textures where they start and end. And then you can see the line again, like a, a few in-game feet down the way where the texture then gets repeated again. And then the Pokemon, I don't know. It's just, it's rough. It's rough uh so <laughs> i don't know i think i hope this is like a wake-up call for pokemon of being like wow if we put effort into what we're developing and we actually give our developers time to create something really cool instead of just saying you need to throw this out there and get it done so we can have a new pokemon game this year like i hope that's what this is i don't want to see pokemon disappear if anything i like the game i like the game series and i grew up playing them i think they're great games but it's one of those where the nostalgia is not carrying the game anymore for me to the point where unless there's a big update in it i'm probably not gonna play one again like the last one i kind of enjoyed it and then it was so laggy it looked terrible in game and that i was just, i got to the point where i just quit like i was just done i was like this is it's not getting any better and so i'm not gonna keep playing but i mean they did get my money so that that's what they wanted so Minecraft has the same problem sometimes, but it gets fixed by mods. No, I like if you compare Minecraft when it came out to Minecraft now, it looks so much better. It looks so much better. It plays so much better. I think a lot of people see Minecraft as the blocks and they're like, this game's ugly. It's blocky when like that's like the artistic charm of Minecraft. And that is what makes Minecraft into something that has turned into like the art form that it is today is without all of the blockiness if it was a full like real voxel world where everything smooths over and everything like that building capabilities would not be what they are and then i i think if minecraft wasn't so generally focused on the ability for anybody to build and make something look half decent i don't think minecraft would have the success that it has today so i mean we'll see where it goes it's a shame because i feel like they'd made a finished game they would have been the best pokemon game to date yeah if that if that uh most recent pokemon game that they released was actually like fully finished and looked good and the graphics were there and it wasn't just constant lighting errors and things like that like it would have been fantastic yeah i'm fully with you on that i find once you beat the main story of any pokemon game it kind of loses its interest i mean you beat the game at that point <laughs> I, I think that's a whole different discussion in itself of a lot of gaming nowadays. People are like, okay, I finished the main story. So now the game starts, right? Or no, like it's fully fair to develop a game and have an ending. I think that's fair. I somehow in the gaming community, there's been a shift in the last like five, 10 years of every video game that exists needs to keep your attention for an unlimited amount of time. And I don't think that's the case. Like, I, I don't think that needs to be a thing. I don't think that's great. That's like walking into a movie theater and being like, all right, I gave you my 20 bucks. Entertain me forever, please. Like, if you imagine that, like, I always think of every dollar that I spend on a video game, like, I hope to get, like, one hour of enjoyable playtime out of it. That's kind of my goal. Or I, I kind of equate it to going to a movie. Like, if I go to a movie... I'm probably going to be spending, what, 20 bucks on a ticket, probably buy a soda, probably buy a candy or some popcorn. And I'm out like 40, 45 bucks to the night for just me going to a movie. And if I could spend that on a video game that I genuinely also enjoy for that same amount of time, then I think that's worth it for me. Um, and even with that, I'll, I like a video game. I want like twice or if not more the amount of time. So I don't know. That's how I think about it always. One dollar per hour for a game is reasonable. I think it's fairly reasonable. Pleased to meet you. And I think it's a that's what I apply to like AAA titles. Like if I'm dropping 60, 70 bucks on a video game, like I'm expecting 60, 70 hours of playtime out of it, like on story content, like of main solo gameplay content or main gameplay content. If it's like an MMO, like that's still like the gearing up and the rating and all of that and like the group content not so much like my character's maxed out and now i'm just gonna go jump into fighting people with uh in battlegrounds and things like that or like pvp or whatever it might be but i don't know that's the way i usually think about games so i don't know uh pal world i'm excited to see where they go i see the controversy on all of it and um i like i think it's a lot of people who are really trying to um 
create a line between the two where there's not really a line like i saw a thread this morning that somebody was talking about um how every single pal and they listed like 70 pals were a direct copy of a pokemon and one of them was like the king penguin like peng king in um pal world is just like a big penguin and then they were like pokemon also has a penguin it's like they didn't look similar at all i'm like okay apparently pokemon owns the rights to every single penguin ever <laughs> like apparently nobody else can make a penguin they can only make penguins <laughs> and i was like you're trying to draw a line here where there does not need to be a line drawn like <laughs> this you just wanted to make a list of 70 something things that <laughs> correlate between them but yeah, I don't know. It's a weird one. Parch, thank you so much for the 17 months. I really do appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, we got a lot of Minecrafting to do today. So I think we uh, end the pal ramp and we get on in game here and see if it wants to. Yes, it does want to play. Hello. I just logged in for the first time. So uh, things might be a little laggy as they load in here. I think that people don't get uh, that they don't exclusively own the genre. It's not even the same genre of game. It's a survival crafting game. Like Pal World is Pal World is closer to Ark than it is to Pokemon. It just has the ability that you can also create a factory out of your pals. Okay. Uh to get started today, we need to refill the rocket box cuz that has been running low. So let's go get a little sugar cane through the beautiful sugar cane interior and then uh we'll move down. We need more fishing with whip. I've been doing a lot of second channel content recently that is just like not really been what's that five we'll go six um that's just not really been fishing with whip but I've been having a good time I feel like the fishing with whip kind of evolved into the comment of the day videos <clears throat> where there is a new one coming out tomorrow if you haven't subscribed to whip Two, go check it out Pokemon plus Minecraft equal pal world no I don't think that's it uh I think it'd be Pokemon plus Ark plus rust equal pal world i don't think minecraft's in the mix at all they're not the same game if, if you if you spend a good amount of time in pal world like that in minecraft the only similar element is that you can break things and that you can also build things but they're outside of that they're not even remotely the same in my opinion but that's also me that's that i mean that's my opinion on it if your opinion's different then that's fine you are welcome to have your own. Okay, that's a good refill for now. So we'll just do that. <clears throat> oh no, the start of a shulker monster. Don't look at it, Cass. You saw nothing. Uh, What else was I doing? Oh, uh, yeah, well, the project today, what I wanted to show y'all uh, we're going to try and get this done, and then honestly, I just want to go mining for a bit. I haven't went mining in this world in so long, and I want to go find some diamonds. But uh, if you're a keen-eyed viewer, uh, you've seen that this is brand new. Way, way back when, if you watched the beginning of this hardcore world, you might remember that on episode 10, we built this entire village. It's awesome. I love it. We have fishies for sale. All that cool stuff. We got a little warehouse. We've got a little dockyard, harbor master, and a bunch of these boats down here were made by people in the community. I think Thomas built this one, if I remember correctly. Um, I can't remember who built these three. I know Blocky built that one out there, and uh, I just asked them to send me designs. I asked in the supporter Discord for people to just send me some designs and of little tiny boats that could fit inside one of these slips and uh we got a bunch and so, yeah so this is one of my favorite little towns to walk through in here and it's something that i've always just left that side far side open and didn't really know what to do with it and i finally have the idea of what i want to do with it so we're gonna do that uh yeah because we just kind of brought it down this way and ended it here and then this whole section right out here just never really had anything going on with it i think i literally just bone mealed over the top of it and called it good so i've decided to extend the harbor coming all the way around here the dock on this side is raised up a bit more because i want to put a big trade ship here of uh, something that came all the way down the 
the river from the ocean up to up to here came all the way up river and uh we're gonna have them like here like unloading some cool stuff and then uh da -da, ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba. uh there'll be like a big crane here big like warehouse building and some more houses around and just to kind of fill out the space and some trees and things uh <laughs> Lots of cats living in that village. Yeah, this is where I bred every single... This is where I got every single type of cat. Or not got them, but this is where I brought them all back to. I've just left them here for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, if you haven't already, my friends, please be sure to leave a like on the stream. It helps me out a ton. We're over a thousand people. We're still we're still at 650 likes. Please make build tutorials. You won't regret it. Unfortunately, I have made many build tutorials in the past. You can get, still go find them in the channel. And the fact that uh, you haven't that you don't know that probably the fact that i have made them kind of turns it into that little bit of regretting it territory right there because i have made them and nobody watches them <laughs> so i i've i've probably made like 50 plus build tutorials on my channel and they are some of the lowest viewed videos of all time and uh i i i'm not a build tutorial channel like that's that's not something you'll see from me i also hate recording them I absolutely hate recording tutorials. I find it to be the most mind-numbing, frustrating experience ever. <laughs> Any love for Age of Empires 4? Picked up recently, I love it. I really enjoyed it when the first season came out. Uh, like, when it initially released. I had a good time with that. Uh, I just honestly haven't revisited it since then. You missed the super chat? Did it read out? I didn't hear it read out. Uh, Raphael, thank you so much for the dono. I appreciate that. Oh, it's... um. There's a third threshold in US dollars for it to for the bot to read it to read the information out. Have you heard about Carnival? Isn't it Carnival? Isn't that how it's pronounced? I could be wrong. Uh in Brazil. Uh I've seen pictures of it. It's very, honestly seems like an amazing festival and just like a celebration and everything. It could serve as inspiration for the city's festival. Yeah, I, I'll I'll see. Once I get there, I want to build out a little bit more of the city before we start thinking about the festival. Carnival. Gotta have some sass or it ain't a foot stream. I mean, I don't know what you're talking about. Now, I think it's like, if you want to succeed at doing Minecraft tutorials on YouTube right now, you have to make the most dumbed down. I, I'm removing this island ever. Like, it just needs to go. But you have to make the most dumbed down tutorials that are so simple, that are just like, it can't be a cool looking house and it can't be anything crazy it just has to be like a wooden oak like starter house that is it and or it has to be like a mansion that just looks like a bunch of the wooden starter houses piled on top of each other and that's the only way to succeed in tutorials right now on minecraft youtube and it's so boring because i would want to make tutorials if i did them on like fun random things just cool details and stuff but nobody's going to search for those so the algorithm's not going to bother pushing them so they're not going to do well now it's fine because like i've tried i have some really cool if you like star wars builds i made some really really cool star wars tutorials like on tatooine inspired homes that you can build in minecraft and i think they're some of the coolest builds i've ever made and they did so terrible <laughs> yeah it's stone brick and oak houses and you need to have those super crazy shaders on and if you don't have that you're not getting anywhere where I need on the channel. Bro, only builds with oak. Yeah, you're right. I do only build with oak. Oh, there is oak up there. I was like, look, there's no oak. Oh, sorry. There's some oak planks here. I know. Yeah, I only build with oak. Ah, an oak tree. Dang. Oh, I don't think this building has any oak. Wait, hold, hold. Ah, tr dang it. Trapdoors. <laughs> Chaos, thank you so much for the dono. I do appreciate it. Miss beginning of stream, had to bring some new baby goats in from the field. Cool. <laughs> cool. <laughs> awesome. Hey, for real. Building Miss with the beginning oak. of the stream, had to bring Two some new baby oak. goats in from the field. Hey, thank you so much for the dono. I really appreciate that. I definitely had a moment of being like, do you mean Stardew Valley? And I was like, no, they probably mean in real life. <laughs> Pleased to meet uh, you. Where's this little grumbling coming from? Ah, it's probably right under here. We need to first and foremost, like, clean up the terrain around here so it's actually something more buildable. 
because I want the front of this like this probably back to here needs to be flattened out and then honestly it needs to now we'll just do that and then we'll replace the layers when we're getting into the building and working on some roadways do you like seagulls do I like listening to seagulls in the background yeah like when I'm on the coast do I really like seagulls no because they try and steal my french fries I mean they're fine but they steal my french fries I have to I don't I don't want to be defending against a flock of birds when I'm eating a burger and fries somewhere I mean like seagulls are all right sure yes IRL hey very cool <laughs> Do you plan to build something in another direction? Yes. One day I will feed a seagull. Okay. Pleased to meet you. We're pretty far inland where we live. Like, near a saltwater. If you were to go by, like, us driving, probably 25, 30 minutes of driving. If you were to go, like by a bird flying a seagull flying probably like 10 minutes flight time maybe um and i don't know how fast a seagull flies that would be my guess so we sometimes get them circling above here on like rain like rainy days or if it's i don't know sometimes they're just randomly flying above our house and it's so funny listening to them squawking and everything because i'm like i'm not even close to the ocean what is it what is a seagull doing here you should build a guard's office in that harbor to control smuggling. Yeah, we could we can look into something like that. I haven't fully figured out what I want to do for it yet. I, I have like the harbor buildings themselves planned, but I haven't really figured out the rest of the, the structures. Again, I know like loosely like the, the drawing plan over where I want to throw things, but like what the structures actually do, no idea. You're very great at building stuff. Thank you. I appreciate it. Skyden, thank you so much for the two months. Can't wait for the next map download. I know. Yeah, we're at episode 55 comes out tomorrow, which means episode 60 uh, is coming up. We're over halfway. This is where they are. Probably pretty dumb of me to... Probably pretty dumb of me to come down here, huh? Just doing like a... We're just going to jump on in there. <laughs> like, yeah, it's fine. Let's just go. We'll be all right. Sure. <laughs> Goals can live pretty far inland. I grew up several hours from the ocean and had to deal with them. Yeah, yeah. It's true. It's a, it's a true fact. My older dog, who's a bully mix, is very clingy right now, and I'm trying to split my attention between her and the stream. If you have to give your dog attention, I do. Please never, never feel bad. The doggos need all of the love ever. It's true, and they deserve it too. Even if they're little butt heads, they still deserve it. Scared to light a cave in full netherite. Tell me you've never jumped into a cave in Minecraft. And there've just been, like, you've fallen down into just armies of creepers. Because they're silent. You can only hear a creeper if you hear their footsteps. So, when you're, like, thinking about it realistically and all that, like... You know, I wanted to put a building up here. We're just gonna, we'll probably work it into the hill as we're going later. Um, I have so many, why do I have so many shulker boxes that are, I'm just not using? Are you family friendly? Yes. I'm giving up. Sorry, did I miss something you're asking? When you return to the desert builds? Oh, I'm so sorry. I missed your message lagging. Um, a lot of messages in chat, you know? 
Uh, I'm not too sure yet. I'm really not too sure. I've, I want to get out there and do stuff, but then I also have projects here that I'm like a lot more interested in. And I've really been trying to move into a, I'm working on what I'm interested in phase. Because I, I realized that I just, when I was really trying to like game things and really, really go for it. I, I kept just doing projects that I was like, this is what I think I should be doing for the algorithm and everything like that. Not that I didn't enjoy those projects, but I was definitely catching myself just like not finishing things. And that was starting to get to me. So I'm, I'm in a little bit of a phase of wanting to finish projects, more specifically around home base for now. And once I get those projects more wrapped up and finalized and everything, we'll probably start. I don't, I don't want to like fully finish everything here, but I, I want to work here for another episode or two and then we'll see what else comes up. There's some farms in Bedrock that are a million times better than the ones in Java. But there are some farms in Bedrock that are a million times worse than the equivalent in Java. So, like, it's a give and take. Are you able to play Minecraft Bedrock? Am I able to? Yes. I, I do own Minecraft Bedrock, but I don't want to play it, <laughs> to be honest. Um, what if we do, like, we cut this back here, because if we just fully slope this down, it's going to kind of look a little lame. Uh, what if instead of, like, fully sloping it down to here, we'll just fill this in so it's got more solid base to it. Um, we have it, like, just a little staircase on that side wrapping up, because we're at the base here, so we could staircase it up from there, and then that could a little bit easier <clears throat> it's just like in terms of playing minecraft bedrock or not playing bedrock i've just always played java so when i do play bedrock i feel like i'm playing a different game that looks the same as minecraft and like the controls function differently and everything and i just i prefer playing the version of minecraft that i know so i stick to java I think Bedrock's, like, I think what they've done, <clears throat> especially recently on Bedrock, has made it a lot better. But, yeah, I mean, there's still definitely a lot of things that could be improved. One day. One day. Why does your texture packs lag my world so much? I have no idea. They don't lag mine. So uh, I'm I'm really not too sure, Gemini. I mean, it's all all my texture pack ads. If you like, if you're lagging because you've turned on the fluffy leaves, like maybe by turning transparent on, like transparent textures on, that's what lags your world. But like, I wouldn't say that's my texture pack. My texture pack is the most bare bones thing you will ever see. Like there is not much going on with it. We're gonna just cut this all back here. We need to figure out a pathway to, I know I literally just covered it, but um, we're gonna bring it back again. So like here, cause this is probably gonna be where the warehouse is. Please make build tutorials. I'll tell my one million friends to sub to your channel. All right, Joyce, if you get a million of your friends to comment on this stream, all one million of them saying, please do build tutorials. And then my subscriber number by, let's say by Friday, you have till Friday. If I'm at 2.6 million subscribers on Friday, I'll make a build tutorial for you. I was about to get botted. No, YouTube usually clears up bots within a few minutes. 
or within a few hours so if we get bought it and then like it'll be gone by friday but like if you can buy friday get your 1 million friends to subscribe to my channel we'll we'll, we'll talk okay we'll talk If you really want build tutorials that bad and you do have a million friends, then like we might be a business. <laughs> it's just got to make it worth the while for me. Like if, if it's worth the time, like I'll consider doing some build tutorials. Sure. I can throw it together a few little houses. You have a tutorial or two on a build with some buildings I made in this world. Yeah, you bet. Hey, what's up, Mr. Beardstone? How you doing? Okay, uh, we need to figure out. I'm almost thinking we just like extend. I think I have some. No, I put all my stone back. Uh, do I have any stone? Do you have? I think that's a nerf. Nope, we need to go get some. Did I put any in here? Ah, I did. Haha! -ha! I am dumb. I had some. Let's say, let's go, eight. I mean, we probably don't need to go up nine blocks, but we'll see. So I'm thinking we just start like here and we just staircase our way up and then this can be like a little, nope, a little back, back way to come around to get onto the dock again. Pleased to meet you. Then we'll fill this in all the way up here. I'll fix up that dirt along the edge in a moment. And then I think, I don't want it to go back much further there. So maybe we just, bam, bam. And girling hard. <gasps> Is that for me or for Mr. Beardstone? Cause he's pretty cool too. Or somebody else. I don't know if maybe somebody else is in here too. That's fine. It's okay to fangirl. It's fine. Not even just for me. Like, honestly, a little, like, social anxiety is, you know, woo, maybe not. But, like, if you've, if you've got a woo in you, sometimes you got a woo. How's Empire Season 3 going? Uh. Uh. Uh, uh, I don't have an answer still. <laughs> no, uh, it's, it's currently not going. We have not had, not saying that I'm trying to get the buy-in from the group, but we've not had any buy-in from the group for anything Empire Season 3 related. You know what? I think back here, we're just going to bump this up another one as of this point, And this can kind of be where that's like that step comes down. That's not a no. No, uh, I Empire's three is not in the works. If something changes, you all will be the first to hear about it. Do not worry. One of the perks of being the fan of the admin in the series, <laughs> or at least enough to hang out here and hope there's information coming. Most of the crew that is in Empires, though, I will say, is working on another series. Not Empire Season 3, but there is another series coming. Okay, we need to just get probably an entire shulker box of coarse dirt and a little spruce slab action, and then we'll figure it out. Was that Windows side? I think that was mine. I don't know what it was, though. I think it was mine. <laughs> Shouldn't the group be the first to hear about it? Well, I mean, they're, they would be buying into it, so. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah, you can ooh, ooh in chat if you want to. That's fine. What mouse tweaks do you have? What do you mean, mouse tweaks? Not sure what you mean, Zephyr. Can you spoilers the next series? I already did on Twitter. I don't know what you mean. I already told you all the theme of the next series. It's a mod. Oh, I don't use the Mouse Tricks mod. I, 
the mouse tweaks mod had a few things that you can't turn off or at least i couldn't figure out how to turn them off that i really did not like uh so i stopped using it i used to like it a lot uh but not any not for me anymore let's uh grab ourselves some gravel start crafting some coarse of dirt Fill this bad boy up. And then we can get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, I hate Twitter and we'll ever use it. Yeah, that's fine. I don't like Twitter either. If I had a, if there was a better platform for that type of stuff, I would, uh, I would use it. Or I would use something else, but nothing has taken over. As much as many things have tried, threads, you were, you, you had a valiant effort. Uh, but, uh, in the end, oh, geez. Ah, why did my, what the heck did I just press? There we go. 30, please. Thank you. 31. I start to lag. Uh, we're going to put five stacks back and we'll just start slowly working at it. Um, we're just going to do some regular core start stuff for now. And I think I'm going to actually drop this down so we can use this whole section here too because i want to do like a little market over here or something i'm just gonna hide some upside down stairs because i have them and that can look like stone bricks i miss skyblock I've thought about doing something like that. I, I think if there's like a break in between another, like this series ending, uh, this like next one, and then a future thing starting again, I think I might try Skyblock of some sorts again. I think I would probably do one block. Just, um, just to do something different. But like, I, I enjoy Skyblock. It's just one of those where... I will play it for as long as the audience is interested and I'll go through it and like keep it going there. Cause like, I think it's a fun game mode, but it's one that I just know takes hours away from the other videos that I'm making. So when we get into like looking at, is it even worth it for me to keep making Skyblock? Unfortunately with the last series, it got to the point where I was just losing money by recording Skyblock videos. So, uh, you can see why I stopped recording Skyblock videos. <laughs> the amount of views that they were getting versus uh, what I was paying to like for editing and everything like that, and let alone the hours that I was putting into it to make the videos happen and everything like that. Like I was just, it just was not working. Um, so it's a bummer when that type of stuff happens, but it's just part of part of the the game of this being a job is you have to think about the finances too. crazy because i've always loved them yeah the like first three or four episodes super great super great and then i published episode five and it got half as many views as episode four and then i when it like within the first week of it launching i think it's a little bit different now uh skyblock's weird because it's one of those that like they age really well sometimes or other times they just don't age well at all um okay so we're gonna bring this up to here and uh, when I released them, they Pleased like five got half the views of episode four and six got half the views of episode five. And then I went through what, eight, nine episodes, I think. And it just kept dropping like drastically beyond that to the point when I uploaded episode, the last episode that I uploaded, um, I was kind of like, all right, if this doesn't do well, like I'm, I'm not gonna upload another video. 
like this this is gonna be it and then i released that one and it was my worst performing video for two years like i went back and like looked at the stats like that far long ago and it was the worst one out of in the last two years and in that two years i've gained i gained over a million subscribers almost <laughs> So I was like, right, all right, that, that signs the deal. We are done with this series. I don't see no business email, then you're not looking the right spot if you're trying to. Also, if you're trying to contact me about business things and you're asking in my Twitch chat, or not my Twitch chat, my live stream chat, uh, it's very unprofessional. Like just, just bad, bad vibes from the get go. Just that's not even just a me thing. That's in every content creator, everything. Um, so maybe think about professionalism before you just randomly jump in a stream and try and get me to sell your product. Those are looking great so far. Yeah, it's aged. It's aged well over 5,900 days. Actually, 5,000. Why is he being so passive aggressive? Because that dude's being mean. That dude's being mean to my mods. My mods are trying to help him so he can submit a business thing. Ask to me, and he's being mean. He's he's sassing the mods back. You you best believe I am always going to protect my moderators. The mods help the community so much and they deal with so much of chat in in the best and worst forms of chat we all know what that looks like and uh when you have people coming in here who i don't want coming in i, I never want somebody coming into my my live stream with a business deal like that is to me i like just Full honestly, if anybody ever comes in here is like, hey, can we talk about a brand sponsorship or something like that? Like, the chance of me saying yes to that brand deal has instantly dropped 20%. 30 percent. And it probably already was like a less than 50% chance. Maybe I, I not even 50. No. If you're coming into a live stream to try and get me to advertise your product, uh, I'm assuming either you're trying to get me to advertise your Minecraft server. Or you're trying to get me to advertise your weird crypto game because that's all the people that ever come in here it's never it's never any different that's always what it is it's consistent every single time and i'm those aren't the brand deals i do you i will never advertise a server because the only servers that are, have the budget to pay for advertising are exploiting the people who play on their server and i'm never gonna i'm yeah it's just not gonna happen i'm, I'm not gonna willingly tell you you should go play on a minecraft server where the only way that i know they're getting that sort of funding to be able to pay to have youtubers advertise their server is they have to be exploiting things and most likely are breaking the minecraft eula so you'll never see that i will not get crypto scammed yeah that's the life goal isn't it We're probably gonna have to change these roads as the project's going and the house is coming. How come you don't use beacons? Uh, I, I want this to go slower because I can more finely tune what blocks I'm breaking instead of mass break everything. Yeah, just, just general life advice. Coming across as there there's different levels of professionalism there's casual professionalism which is just like having a chill conversation talking about it and then like talking business after the fact and which can be done very very well but for some reason in the gaming space that has just turned into people coming into your stream or reaching out over comments saying hey are you interested in advertising x product for us and like that's that's not the same thing and also by saying the name of the product in my chat 
you're breaking the rules of the chat of no advertising. So it just comes off as incredibly unprofessional in a space that unprofessionalism typically in the online space is a very big red flag of identifying scams. I, if somebody is unprofessional and I'm trying to talk with them and like I'm talking about a potential brand deal and the person I'm talking to just starts coming off as like way overly casual and being too simple about it and not really fully answering the questions I have on like the business side, my like this is a scam meter goes up a hundred like just so quick and I will I will disappear like you I any conversation that we were having before is done like <laughs> the chance of a conversation happening is just completely ended I'm not asking for people to be like full suit and tie and everything like that like I want to have a casual conversation but if it's uh if it's too casual or if somebody is coming into my chat to try and do things I I don't want that like that, that's massive red flags Okay, so this corner here is going to be uh, where we're going to have a big crane sitting. So I want to probably just give ourselves a little bit more of an extension here. And then we'll. Pr this is going to be where the warehouse is. I don't know too much about it, but for now we can just like roughly block these things out. Don't forget to like the stream. Very much do appreciate it. We're almost at 1,000 likes. Is spawn area ever going to get a name? Uh, we could probably name the tavern down there, but I haven't really thought about too much else beyond that. I don't like that stepping over so much. I should probably move all the non-coarse dirt out of there so we can i dude we made so much coarse dirt and we're not going to use <laughs> nearly half of it <laughs> oh that's funny we made a whole shulker box of coarse dirt and we went through nine stacks <laughs> that's good a little more a little over nine Have you ever remove the snow from the bottom of the tree? I've thought about it, but I kind of like a little nostalgia of it being there has made me not do it yet. Yeah, I think that's fine for a road. We'll probably build some houses like into like this is very bare bones. Like I'm gonna let buildings overlap it and everything like that. So that's probably fine. We've got our way around there it's gonna be like a big crane warehouse along this whole section i want to do like a larger tower here on the corner to kind of oversee everything and then probably just build into this cliff a house there and maybe like a house here and then if we have space this road might come out that way and go back around yeah we're gonna do that i'm gonna kind of just mm. Then we can make space for another building in here potentially. How many blocks does this give me? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's probably fine for the scale of this place. Uh, and then here we can kind of open this up. I don't know. Uh, this might not work out too well. We'll see. Who caught it? But we can kind of take these back. <clears throat> Start to redirect the road around to here. So everything on this side, we're going to turn just back into some grass. This is a very simple village, too. I built this, like, I think this is actually episode 10, like, way long ago. Uh, and, like, before day 1000, I think. So we can kind of give this green space back. And I also try really hard to not just have straight roads and builds that I'm doing. So I think this kind of helps get away from that. 
Just for the sake of it, we can throw in a little curve. Yeah, that'll work. Uh, that'll work. Yeah. Why not? Sorry for making you angry. I mean, I wasn't angry. I was just replying. Just trying to get you a video idea for that, and that was it. I mean, a video idea and advertisement are very different things. <laughs> if you have... If you have, a, like, a true video idea, you're more than welcome to post that in here. But if you're reaching out for a business advertisement, that's different. That's... That's that's not a video idea. That's a, that's a brand deal. Very, very different things. Okay. Uh, that's looking pretty good. Chaos, thank you so much for the dono. I appreciate it. I'll let the bot read that out this time. I will remember. This is looking pretty good, though. I like it. This will do nicely. I also got all the lanterns down here, so it's going to be fully spawn proof, which is good. You've had this world up since like forever it feels like we're about to hit day 6000 we are on day no we have we have hit day 6000 over stream today we're on 6002 right now would you look at that Keep it real. i don't Trying know how much i like that this is like lunch, any suggestions hard line over here like that like i'm not too sure about it but we're gonna leave it for now i'm kind of debating on out going out to get like some pokey after lunch that sounds pretty good but the place the pokey place near us increased their prices like a few a few months ago and then that was like four or five months ago they made it like two bucks more expensive for the bowl and then this last time i went the portion size went down so much too and i'm like no <laughs> i don't want to pay so much money for a small bowl had a burrito burrito bowl for dinner yeah i need it um, i'm in charge of dinner tonight so i need to go out and get something Town is looking so good already. Yeah, I really love this town. This is like the first big aesthetic build we did in this world. Like purely for the aesthetics and I love it. Oh, sorry. Dang eggs, you fancy. Make some sort of pull from the name of the town. I don't really know if this needs a name quite yet. I think we finish it and let's see what comes to us. I made, I picked the, I did end up uh, in the video tomorrow I announced the name of the city, so we have that. That is, that is r recorded in video. Think about naming the tavern the roundabout. Mm, yeah. Can't wait for a crane to stand there. It's going to look so good. Yeah, I'm thinking crane on this corner and then like too. a big boat along there. The thing is I'm limited on the size of the boat to keep it realistic. I counted this yesterday just to like start getting some plannings going. We have diagonal 13 blocks. So I think I can squeeze it up to like 15, 16 for it to look accurate. And then we also have to worry about um, how wide this spot is. I still have to go clean up those beacons for how much cliff space we actually have clearance for in order to get through there. I think this is easily a lot more than just the 13. Yeah, I mean, that's that's way more than 13 blocks across. Um, so we're, we're good there. So as long as we're like sticking, the boat can be at most 15 blocks wide. So I'm going to have to figure out how to do that. Go to Blocky's shop on the server. He's got boats of all sizes. True, true, true. When's the next video? Tomorrow. New video dropping tomorrow. Our sniffers. I haven't visited these guys in so long. <laughs> I think the minecart probably broke underneath, but I mean, this farm is so overflowing. Just heard crane and thought I said green. Yeah, uh, yeah pretty similar. Pretty similar words. Could have been grain. 14 blocks wide. Yeah. Yeah, this thing is so overflowing. <laughs> so good, though, because I've already filled these. Hi, buddy. Hope you find your dad. 
Yeah, these are already full too. These are already full. How did it get in here? Huh. I don't know how that bee got in there. I love sniffers. I need to do more with them. They're so fun. All I did was put them in here and make them work for me forever. And I haven't done anything with them since. He's just like, oh, thank you for opening the door. I'm going to go now. This view here, nice though. To meet Woo. You. Woo. It's a good one. It's a good one. Nip, thank you so much for the eight months. I once tried to plug a channel in this chat. Mods almost banned me. Whip didn't say a word. I wrote the channel was I wrote that the channel was called Like the Stream. You can plug Like the Stream. That's fine. That's cool. As long as people are, we did hit a thousand likes, so I do appreciate everybody. Thank you. Current sl currently slaying right now, not just walking. Just, I just can't help it sometimes, you know. Got a little painter shop over here. Will you make a mega tree in the nether? You did all dimensions except that one. Probably not. <clears throat> I think the only way I'd do a mega tree in the nether is if, like, the height restriction you have in the nether is just too much. Um, if you're building above bedrock, you still only have, you have 100 blocks to the world height. If you're building below bedrock, from bedrock to the bedrock, you have, like, 106 blocks, 106, like, 10 blocks, something like that. So you're really limited on the height in order to make it like grand enough. Like this thing's almost 200 blocks tall. The end tree is well over a hundred blocks tall too. Uh, so like you just don't have the space in the nether. Make a Walmart, nah. Uh, I almost, I almost like when the Halloween video came out cause I, there was a building and I didn't want to build the interior to it. And then I was like, I, I almost put a spirit Halloween inside of one, but I was like, I, I don't want to <laughs> like now. Nah. A potted sapling in the nether. Yeah. Or just a little sapling. Be like, I built your nether tree, everybody. <laughs> Do a horizontal tree. Like it's growing sideways. Yeah. I Speaking of trees, I had these recently. Kind of love them. I also got some beehives in them, too. You can see the so beehives next to the bee farms. Vibes. Upside down nether tree would cool. We're still stuck on the height limit from there. You have 210 from bedrock to sky limit. Um, no, the nether did not get the height expansion. I can show you. This is a year. I hope, uh, yeah. I, my channel goal this year is to hit 2 million subscribers. So, we're, uh, we need a little under 400,000 subs this year to make it happen. So, we'll see. We'll see. It's, it's going to be a hit or miss if it happens. Um, honestly, it's one thing that I can't even predict. But, maybe. Maybe it could. But yeah, so right here, we are at 128. Build height is this, 255, or 256. So you have 128 blocks up here to build a tree. Which, like, you could build a pretty big tree in that size, like, all the way up, sure. But I think what I want to eventually do in the nether is I don't want to just live on the bedrock. Like, I want to start getting terrain up here, which is going to be difficult because we have to slab it all. And I'm still, I guess we could mossy carpet over the top of all of the moss. <clears throat> so that's like an option, but yeah. I don't think I've ran this farm in like a year. <laughs> like actually sat up here to run it. I don't know. I can't remember the last time. The mega root system. I have thought about that. Like, for the build. Our wings are fine. For the build, I want to eventually, potentially, maybe if I feel inspired to work inside the actual nether itself once in a blue moon. Like, having this extending big roots coming down or something, I thought could be really fun. And we could do that. I like. I was thinking warped wood, but then I was like, warp wood is native to here, but there's no warp forest around. So having these big, like, bluey roots coming down, like stripped warp wood, like stretching across. Or doing something like these big, like, almost like magic veins coming down, I thought could be cool too. So we'll see if that happens or not. There's so many other projects that I want to do before then. Um, yeah. Also, today, I know we just did all the road stuff and everything like that, working on the town. 
I kind of want to just go and vibe and like do some mining. I don't know about you all, um, but let's actually go make some more torches real quick and bring a shulker or two with us. And I think we go under papyrus and like find a cave that'll drop us real far down under there because I have never explored those. And we'll just see if we can, I don't know, pick up some diamonds or something. I'm starting to run a little low on my diamond ore count. I mean, look at this. What am I supposed to do with only 84 deep slate diamond ore? I only have nine diamond ore. That's a building block and I only have nine of it. It's terrible. Don't look at it. You saw nothing. L. That's too few. I know. How have I even survived this long? It's terrible. Okay, so we're going to put that in here. We're going to bring a stack of blocks of coal with us just to have. I'll bring two shulkers. And I'll go get some sticks from. Don't, don't want to forget that. Mods will handle stuff if they, uh, if we need to delete it. If people are just suggesting names of things, please don't call them annoying. Amethyst Harbor, I think, honestly, sounds like a pretty cool name for town. I don't know if it really fits the vibe there, because I don't know how much really amethyst we have around. But it's not a bad idea for a name. So, just because you don't like what somebody's saying in chat doesn't mean that they're, they need to be banned. Please be considerate. Mining? I haven't done that in years. What you made what made you name the city Papyrus? Well, this is new Papyrus. And I made Papyrus back when I started building with Flip. Which went on for five years. Making that series. Is that set Yeah, my channel's almost eight years old. Um, so that no, we're not going in another, we're going this way. So we're um, eight year, seven and a half years since building with Whip started. Uh, and it's the first town that I built there. It was a desert town and I wanted to theme it off of the Nile River or kind of atmosphere in the desert of really like lush river oasis. Uh, this is the wrong portal. <laughs> um, so I, I did that and then I was like well I want to theme everything in this world off of having a certain export and once we got into new papyrus or we got into papyrus I was like what's coming along with it and I found myself building a lot of sugarcane along the edge of the rivers to kind of create that that, that atmosphere and I was like well technically papyrus is the original form of paper that was used by the Egyptians way way long ago um, like in ancient Egypt and that was kind of the style that I was going for was like this ancient desert build. Um, so that's where I got the name Papyrus from is I was like, we're it's all about paper and there's massive sugarcane farm here. We have these massive plantations where it's being grown in bulk and just these massive fields of sugarcane all over the place. And I was like, Papyrus, that's that's the name of it. So that's where we got it from. With the main town being covered in fields, maybe you could call something fields. Yeah, we could. That honestly, like, I, I like the idea of something with the fields around it. Or, like, Vale. I like Vale being in the name, like, something Vale. I, I want to do something, like, orchard themed at some point, too, but orchards are kind of hard to make in Minecraft because there's not really any trees that actually grow things. And you only have flowering azalea leaves that you can kind of look like a fruit growing on it. Yeah, so this is one of the original the desert towns that we built over here, just like a little tiny farming oasis. So we we actually have some auto farms. They're probably fully broken now. No, he's still working. Hi, buddy. Look at you. Uh, so this is a full auto carrot farm. He'll just go and drop things off with the. There's a little minecart there that picks it up. And there's a guy living in that house, so he'll do that. Uh, it looks like somebody up here broke all of those. And then the house down there, that mud brick one with the iron golem in the, in the middle of it, um, that is a full, 
what is this potatoes yeah and so these walkways to like walk in between the fields are the spawn are the proofing so that the villager can't get out <laughs> which i'm really happy that it actually worked out that way uh and then the leaf hedge here is also a wall that the villager can't get out so i i, I love this i really really love the atmosphere we've been able to create down here history with flip amazing i try and theme a lot of the builds i do off of some realism element and then bring in the fantasy from there but yeah i really love this place so yeah the original papyrus had these massive sugarcane fields like that guy right over there where there's just sugarcane everywhere and you can make those with uh i can show you all the pattern real quick if you want to build something like this yourself we'll get mining in a minute we're just we're vibing uh, but there's a pattern you can see here. So this is a water source. That's a water source. That's a water source. And that one. And that allows you to fill the middle ones. And if you keep repeating that pattern, you can have a nearly completely full sugarcane field outside you. of the um, uh, like water sources you have in there. And I know some people put like leaves on top of them too or something like that. I just put uh, mangrove roots in and waterlogged the mangrove roots and was fine with it. Uh, and put moss carpet over the top of some of them. Rumble Bumble, thank you so much for the seven months at tier two. What a better way to finish a day off. Flip stream, yay. Don't forget to subscribe and like the stream. Oh, and Veil's a potato. Yeah, thank you for including the very impor important fact. Very important. Uh, yeah, so we got this little, if you haven't seen Papyrus, this was like episode 40 to 50 was when we were out here doing this stuff um so we got this big old desert village over there there's you let's don't don't kill yourself buddy uh oh they're all in the water they're all gonna drown okay <clears throat> moving on they're gonna kill themselves yeah we've been out here doing stuff a while back we haven't been out here for a while I do love when people use their membership message to throw a little shade at another member who I, but like, it's one of those where like, it has to be done well. And I have to know that they like interact well with each other in the community discord. Like, I don't want people just like throwing shade or hate throughout the membership messages. But like, if, if you're gonna give, if you're gonna troll your friend a little bit, yeah, it's, it's pretty good. Uh, where is he? Where is he? Booger, where are you, Booger? <laughs> Hi, Booger. The first blue axolotl in this world. This is Booger. And we've got the trip right out into the coral reef. It's beautiful. And um, where we did all of our axolotl breeding, they've all uh, ventured off. There's just, there's no axolotls left at the shore. I don't know where they went. They must have just ventured off into the world, far off into the distance. We all troll Vale. Even I troll Vale. Come on now. <laughs> I give him a hard time for playing a ret paladin in World of Warcraft all the time. Only because I know they're a lot better than I am at WoW, but. So I have to give him a hard time off of the little tidbit I can give him a hard time on. I don't, yeah, I don't know where they went. Sure, that's what, they ventured off into the sunset. I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. They're just gone. <laughs> uh, we'll find a cave here in a second to go down. But the most important thing we have out here, out of anything ever, the sea pickle farm. <laughs> I don't have I shown you all like actually running this thing on like while it's live. It's so look at how absurd this is. <laughs> it's there's so many pickles. It just it's something like eighty or ninety thousand pickles an hour. I love it. I think it's the funniest thing nice ever. To meet you. Whoever's gonna need that many pickles, I don't know. But you, you got them. All right, does this go down pretty far? Let's find ourselves a cave. I see a mine shaft. That's a good start. Not a good start. Not a good start. It's fine. Yeah, loser. Okay, right. Great start. Lovely start. Excellent start. Pleased to meet you. I don't think bad has ever happened in a mine shaft. I want to get a little bit deeper so we can get near diamond level, but we'll we'll scope out for some mine 
mine carts while we're around here plan to make some world tour uh on saturday there's not a full world tour coming out but there is a tour of the city coming out <gasps> Ooh, don't mind if i do oh we don't need the rest of that yeah there's uh this saturday since uh we did it we've done a few massive expansions to the city itself that I thought it'd be kind of fun to throw, uh, do a new city walk. So it's just literally walking through the t the city and talking about everything I built in there. Um, ooh. Leave this as my way to get back out. Okay. Now we're in business. Now we're going back up. I want to go down. Yes, thank you. No, like more more down than that. What mob movement mod do you use? Are you talking about the animations? It's a texture pack called Fresh Animations. I love it. Pleased to meet you. It's a skeleton. Yeah. Nothing down there. We can go down the cave. No. Okay, we're not going to go that way. Miss May, thank you so much for the one year at tier two. Big tree time. Let's go. And don't worry about some of us when we call each other a potato a cough veil or cuties it's mostly us on the supporter server yeah no i sure i figured we got a pretty healthy group of people now it's, it's one of those where the community's been around for a few years which i absolutely love and like there's and some core people have been there the entire time that it's uh i feel like it has its own ecosystem now and like social code which we very much like helps enforce and build out, which is, and it's cool to see uh, everybody interacting and being friends for the most part. Where's this go? <gasps> down. I do want to go down. No, not that, more down, please. Ooh. Eee! Diamonds! Yay! Okay. <laughs> and we'll take the name tag. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Excuse me. Pardon me. Ooh, mob spawner. A mob. A little zombie spawner. Don't mind if I do. A little experience. And another name tag. Okay, we'll take that. Nothing. Good community vibes. It is. We have, we've got a really healthy community. There's some people on there who have been supporting me forever. I am so, so thankful for it. Ooh. 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 Look at the little guy. I saw you running away. Get back here. Okay, there he goes. We'll find our way out eventually. It's fine. Now. Can we just get down to the deep slight, please? I would just love to find one of those, like, unending cave networks. Oh! Ha! Huh. Ask and you shall receive? I guess? Let's go! All right, glow squid. Ooh. I could use some more raw gold. Something tells me I enjoy this. Are there any diamonds, though? Oh, I forgot I don't have that mod anywhere. 
I used to have the mod that would light things up, like if you threw it, and it's not developed for it. They they stopped developing it for fabric, and they moved it over to quilt. And I just don't understand how to make quilt work yet. It's odd to see you caving. I know it kind of was like a very much in the. We're not gonna use the bow down here. Where is that skeleton? Hello. Oh, thank you. Wow, I missed. Thought he was gonna burn. Save the durability, you know. There's sandstone up there, so that's an easy out. Yeah, I can't remember the last time I went caving, to be honest. Because most of the time I just jump down into my strip mines and do that. Because I'm like, this is easier to get the materials. There's no diamonds. Anywhere. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Wow. I do. I just got wrecked by the skeleton. Okay, we're down here now. How are there no diamonds revealed in this entire cave? <laughs> Too dark. Can't see the bats. For the bat stat. Ah! <laughs> Okay, any other caves down here that we could use? That's a that's a cave behind the water. Anything in here? Not that. I actually don't. Specifically, I'm okay without that. Any diamonds though? No diamonds. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Imagine caving in 2024. Yeah. Imagine caving after you've lived in a hardcore world for three years. Noob. Now, I've been watching some other people just like with more chill, relaxed let's plays, and they're just like, yeah, for fun, I just want to go caving. Like, we're just going to go see if we can find how many diamonds we can find in these caves for like an hour or two. And I'm like, that looks kind of fun. I haven't done that for a long time. Now we're doing it. I can doing it, mate. Okay, behind the waterfall. Cliche. God, come on, Minecraft. Could it be any easier? Oh. Going towards the sound of a zombie. Ah. Pleased to meet you. Okay, where is he? The zombie just like led me to a cave and then he said, ah, actually I don't exist. Yeah, we'll keep a golden apple on hand. Why not? That's good vibes. Stupid bat. Imagine mining in Minecraft. Yeah, I thought this game was Craftcraft. the zombie. I'm committed now. <laughs> Loop back around. Do it. Do it. Show me the zombie. Or the giant cave. I like giant cave too. Ooh, spawner. I'll take this zombie. This is a this that's a valid zombie. Ooh, we got other side. Oh heck yeah. Just use GD cam. Ah, 
that ruins that that turns mining into uh gotta get gotta get it done fast as fast as possible fully enclosed geode wow what are thoughts about the new tough blocks coming out i want them right now immediately Well, I wasn't on the hunt for diamonds, I would get that calcite, but I can't be bothered. Okay, now we've really opened up. <gasps> diamonds! It really gave me two. It really said, here's two diamonds. Like low, low priority, like super low priority goal for me in this series is a diamond beacon. Like, am I gonna waste a bunch of time to get it? Probably not. But if we like casually work up to it over the years, yeah, I'd, I would, I would be, I would be happy to have a little diamond beacon sitting around somewhere. We, we gotta earn it. Creeper. Or the diamond. Thank you. Not thank you, actually. But that's cool. That's cool too. <gasps> Another one. That's cool. That's, I maybe I really do need to update update to 1.20.4. <laughs> Like, do I think I'm ever going to go for another beacon? No, absolutely not. Wait, that looks really cool over there. Especially with the creeper running, charging at you, you know? Diamondos. Ooh, there's gold dough. Gold. No diamondos. What level are we at? Negative eight. Oh, that's why. We got to get a lot lower. As I'm climbing upwards. It's all about the flex. A flex within, like, it's reasonable to get it, you know? I, the desire does not even exist to have it like a legit netherite beacon no 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 don't don't even don't even think i will give that a, a shot ever <laughs> mostly because the hype isn't there anymore so there's quite literally no point in doing it like if you did the netherite beacon when it and you did it legitly when it the videos were popular like when wad z did it and pix did it like being the first people out there to get it like wad z was the first hardcore person to get it and i think pixaris was the first like recorded full like survival player to get it um like that's impressive that's really cool and just a feat nobody else had done but now there's so many people that have done it and so many people have cut corners doing it that i just i don't even think the video would do well for how many hundreds of thousands of hours you have to put into it you made another beacon a tier one beacon yeah you're right i did lauren that's true that's true we did achieve netherite beacon here that is legitly <clears throat> certified beacon beam off of a netherite beacon was done that could be something fun i don't think i have that much ancient debris anymore because i think i used it all i thought he was going to do the little jumpy thing they do sometimes where they just slowly kill themselves that's fine too there's another cave through that wall. Ah, I see you. Mm. 
Hey zombie. Bye zombie. Why is this like more relaxed than building? <laughs> when I'm doing things that could actually get me killed. <laughs> Just like this is so easy. I'm having a great time. Oh, there you are. Hi, buddies. Has head empty. True, true, true. No thoughts, only slash. Any diamonds? No. Is creating is more stress? True, yeah. Brain gotta do. Brain not really gotta do here. Another cave behind a waterfall. Oh. Wow. We're really getting somewhere. <gasps> diamonds at the end though. Wow. We are getting somewhere. Look at that. That's the most diamonds we've had so far. Woo. It's five. We only had what? Four before. <laughs> Thanks, Waterfall Cave. Classic gaming experience. Treasure behind the waterfall. I know I'm not grabbing every single bit of gold ore we stumble across. I'm, I'm okay with that. <gasps> Diamonds. got over here and not to match what gaming is this is this what gaming is Where I heard a spider. Where'd he go? Where did the spider go? This is a pretty cool cave, though. I do like it. It's not big enough for a proper goblin cave, but like, you couldn't you couldn't build a city in this one, but like, you could you could do a little little town. This is not worthy of the great goblin. You were doing a gaming? Ah, thank you, eggs. Thank you. Appreciate it. Oh! This is more worthy of a gobland. Oh, there he goes. Yeah, just keep on. Yeah, uh -huh. just. You went a geode up there? Wow. You can clear out some of the space, get a pretty cool cave. Wow. There's a little guy. There's a little guy, too. I know I heard a little one. Oh my god, can you stop screaming? You're dead. You actually died like a minute ago. <laughs> That's a weird line. That's a... <laughs> we'll go into that lower cave here in a second. I just wanted to poke my head out this way. We're too far up, though. Where's the child? Cool geode, though. Wow. With the bat stat. I'm coming for you. Ah. <laughs> they call him a gamer. Even the chains? Because it's so tall in here? Wow. Oh, hi, 
buddy. Anything for the reward from the battle? No, nothing. Okay, that's fine. The child, he's stuck. He's stuck behind the impenetrable barrier of a rail. <laughs> Poor little guy. He couldn't stand over, he can walk over the train tracks. Poor guy. Nothing except beautiful tough. Man, I'm gonna have to mine so much tough when we get into the new update. Huh. We'll be mining tough like crazy. How'd you climb over there? Look at you, you're so talented. Wow. These little guys are so talented. Diamonds. Diamonds! Oh, did I help you out there? You're welcome. That was a nope corner? Yeah, yeah. His legs were too short to walk over the tracks. He's poor, poor little guy. Chess. <gasps> Chess. Diamonds. Oh, I hear a witch. Oh my god, I just, wow. Wow my I just missed again. Completely whiffed it. Okay, he's dead now though. It's fine, they're both doing a dead. Now we're down in the mining area. The battle is its own reward. Yeah, for the stats, really. Was that witch? Need to murder a witch for the stats. No, okay, they disappeared. Only in a video game, by the way. Let's reorganize, because inventory's getting a little full. We don't need the little guy's shovel, that's okay. Like, there's got to be some diamonds in here. Woo! A nice little two. Oh, I thought it was a chicken jockey. It's like, I was going to be excited. A little guy got a friend. The dripstone is making it really difficult to, like, see the rocks. That's okay. We go on. Okay, this cave is a, this is a big one. What's that, iron? Wow. All right, this is, we're getting like Godland level here, right? We're, it's not, it's not quite there. It's not open enough. But like if this whole middle thing was removed, you could, you could potentially do a Godland. You don't have the height though. Goblin is like an entire hollowed out mountain. I definitely did feel a little bad because I kind of was like, I found that one and I was like, uh, we're picking this seed by the way. Uh, you all, you all just find a space, <laughs> find a space in this seed that'll work for you because uh, I don't think we're going to find anything better than this cavern. <laughs> I did see a diamond down there. Oh, okay. Like, I, I don't even think I cleared much out of Goblin at all. Like, I, I don't think I pushed back any of the walls. I think I just worked with what I had in there. Cave under my base would put Goblin to sh shame in terms of side, but sadly still empty. I don't know did you have from could you see from bedrock through the top of a mountain i could 
<laughs> no, it's just gonna be a hard time. No, when those giant caves generate, that's so cool. Oh, did you see that zombie who's standing on the top over there? The diamond behind him? No. Hello, have you seen any diamonds? Thank you. No? Okay, that's fine. Ooh, redstone though. I am actually low on redstone. Oh, I messed up. I missed. Are you gonna mine these diamonds with a fortune pick at the end? Uh, probably. We can do that. I kind of like keeping them as ore, but I guess if we're going diamond beacon, we can we can start breaking them down for blocks. The blocks would be the better route to have them. A gold skeleton. Wow, so fancy. I still have yet to ever find a full diamond mob in this world. A little spider on the skeleton's head. What is that over there? I see some diamonds. Oh, I saw some diamonds. No, probably just a little lichen. I really love that they added glow lichen to caves. Like, I think that's such a good change. The subtle little light spots that you can see to help give shape and form to the cavern that you're inside. I think it's cool. I like it. I know it's really dark in here though, so apologies if the stream is super dark. Oh, I thought we were gonna get a music disc. Trying to line it up, he blew up too fast. He got too excited, it's okay. Are you conserving torches? I have a stack of uh Pleased Sorry. to meet you. I have a stack of coal blocks. So we're fine. And I have multiple stacks of wood inside my ender chest. Little prickly, little prickly. That's okay though. Mocha, thank you so much for becoming a tier two member. If you want to check out a Minecraft server and all that cool stuff, uh, join the Discord and all that. Link, get your account linked, and you you get you get access to it. Uh, da, 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 da. There's so many skeletons in this cave. Speaking of which, there's four more to spawn. Okay. Don't look at the Andy man. Excuse me, sorry, sir. Excuse me, sorry. Excuse me, sorry. Excuse me, excuse me, sorry. Oh, you had an enchanted bow. Look at you, fancy, fancy. Wow. Oh, just for an iron. Just for an iron. Bummer. Anything in here? Some lava. Where there be lava, there be diamond. No. Nothing. That's fair. Farmer Flip theme song. You betcha. No. Nar. Hey, we aren't planting a field. We're planting a field of the corpses of our enemies. What? Hi, ah, hey buddy. I think the biggest thing I've learned with fighting creepers is patience. You just you just got to be a little they they take a certain amount of time to explode and you can you can be up close and get another auto attack in as long as you get it before they start exploding. It's like bam and bam. Easy. A lot of people, they see a creeper start to explode, and they're like, oh my god, run away! <gasps> a little slimy boy! Yeah. 
Now all the mobs decide to show up. Okay. <laughs> Angry witch. Why why can't we all just be friends? It's a squeeze. It's just a little squishy. Well, everything's dead now, so that's cool. How to get access to your resource pack for the newest Minecraft version? Uh it is for tier one members and up. I don't have any public stuff that I release anymore. So if you'd like to get access to any of my texture packs or anything like we don't need we don't need bows or arrows. We're on infinity. I probably don't need. We'll keep those. Little slimy boy. Can we put the gobble? No, I want my elytra. That, that's for sure. Epic battle. You missed all the fun, Spider. We we're having a party. I see diamonds. I see diamonds. Dodging, weaving, we're slashing, we're destroying. Skeleton's getting wrecked. Oh, he hit me. Diamonds. Hello, creeper friends. Pleased to meet you. And diamond friends. Only two. And diamonds S plural. No. Oh man. Oh, a friend. Wow. As friends of a friend. Anything? No. I don't know why I'm like looking up thinking it's going to give me a better angle in the game. <laughs> Come on. I know we're all guilty of that. I know we're all guilty of being like, if I, if I lean this way, my car is going to turn faster. I swear. <laughs> it's real. <laughs> Creeper spawner? Oh my gosh. It must be just around the corner. As the fabled legends have said, they exist. Extremely rare. But they exist. All the friends. Yeah, we just love our friends. Ooh, power five. It is power five. I don't have mending on the bow. Oh, I don't want a mending. I have infinity. What am I missing on the bow? Isn't there a fifth enchantment? Oh, it's the knockback one. I was like, what what am I there's only four enchants on this bow. What am I missing? Yeah, repair my shovel, please. Thank you. A glow squirt. I actually don't have a glow squirt farm yet. For the stats. Sorry, buddies. I've never been a person like obsessed with stats, but I've just I've been saying that recently when I've been like just doing random things. I'm like, it's just grindy. It's for the stats. Like, look at our stats now. We're almost, we have 639 creeper kills. Woo! <laughs> That's like at least plus 20 today. Skeletons? Where's skeletons? All the way probably down at the S. 1,231. Woo! Flame? No, I, I got flame on there. There's flame, power five, infinity, and breaking three. What am I missing? I don't want the knockback one. Punch? No, I don't want punch. I, I'm, I'm a knockback and punch I don't like on my tools. I got my weapons. Don't like it. Never. Never will. And that's okay. I'm okay with that. He got wrecked. You see that? Like full 180 behind him. Oh, he knew. He was not ready for that battle. Outside of punch, you aren't missing anything. Okay. 
you can like fully pause for a solid like one and a half global and you'd be fine i don't think they're called globals in this game but that's how i always think of it the interval to auto attack Twelve forty. I'm gonna find some of those like regular diamonds, but I don't think it's happening. Hello. Ready for this? I'm playing playing Assassin's Creed. I'm so good at this game. Any? Any. Nothing. Gold. Gold is acceptable. Every gamer ever. <laughs> you killed one cod and 99 salmon? I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> Stop looking at my stats. It's private. Anxiety could never get away with a double hit on a creeper. Yeah, I've gotten like you just get more used to it. Honestly, like as you play hardcore, the thing that I've realized in hardcore Minecraft is sometimes the safest position to be, like when you're fighting things in hardcore, is in the fight. Like in the battle, and if you can keep your mouse cursor on the mob, being closer within reason like being with like to where you can hit them but they can't hit you that is the safest place you can be in in as a hardcore player because you you have control the second you start turning and running it's un it's less predictable where the mob is around you and everything like that and that's when you start getting to get into trouble and that's something that i really had to realize when i was getting into hardcore minecraft that i was not doing in season one i was kind of starting to do it in season two uh, and then running in season two is what got me killed, um, or attempting to run and then turning back and fight and like indecision. But if you make the decision of you're go just going to stick it out and be in the fight and you're going to do it and you kind of can learn how to control it, like that's the safest place to be. Yeah. The second you lose track of your positioning, according to the mob, that's, that's the time when you're going to die. Your chance of death at that is goes up exponentially. Also, losing your cool and like spam clicking, like people who click like this to fight things, that, that that's unfortunately like that's how most people die. Is they get overwhelmed and they just start clicking, thinking that clicking will save them. No panic, only calm. Remember the most important saying, no panic, only calm. All right, I think we check one more little one and then we can head back. Not the most eventful, we got 20 Daimundos, that's okay. I know he died, time to watch SB, I mean. We still living over here. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm still a liver. Keep calm. Don't panic. Keep panic. Don't calm. Ah! Look at this. Wow. Hey, this is cool. Anything fun down here? Dude, I really want to find a fossil. Partially why I came out here to mine is I want to find a fossil. If we can find a diamond fossil, that'd be even better. Because they only exist in desert and swamps, so we are in the right biome. But they don't exist because this technically isn't a desert. It's a No, we are in desert. There's possibility here. I think we find Okay, chat, I need your I need your opinion. Um 
if we find a deep slate fossil, which means instead of coal ore with the bone blocks, it comes out with diamond ore. Is that something where you keep the diamonds intact or do you take the diamonds? What's your LA killed stat? I think it's one. <laughs> uh, I was under the impression that uh, if they're leashed to you, they're invulnerable. Not, not the case. Just the more you know. You leave the diamonds, okay. And if you, so you take the whole thing, like you, you just stack it all together and we bring it back home. That's, that's what I'm hearing. Like if we, if we want to put it on display in a museum or something, you would just like, would you leave it there and build an exhibit around it? Or would you bring it back home? We're running pretty low on redstone, so well, well, I am here. I think it's worth grabbing. And now we can just <clears throat> follow our torches back out. Ooh, baby, look at that, three more. We follow our torches back out that way. We can, we can get home. Might bring it home. See you, Mr. Daimundo. Some whetstone, yeah, some good old whetstone blocks. So tasty. I've been running out of Silk Touch Deep Slate too, so I'm kind of okay with collecting some of this as we move. I'm trying to be better about passively collecting. Ooh, I see another one. Passively collecting materials instead of feeling like I'm only getting materials if I'm out like farming them. Ooh, ooh, I got so surprised there was a second one. I fell off. No, we don't need that. that that's a waste of a torch. What a waste. Finally back what I miss. Uh, we've had some epic battles destroying some mobs for the stats. I think a goal, like a long-term goal of mine in this world is to legitimately kill at least a thousand of each type of like easy to find hostile mob. Like I'm not going to do withers. I'm not going to do evokers. I'm not going to do ravagers, but like well over a thousand of each like generic Minecraft hostile mob. Maybe, no, maybe, I feel like we're close to a thousand on most of them. So maybe we go 10,000. Just like over time, like a goal is to get all of them up there. And so maybe that means we need to build a nighttime battle arena and we do some battling. That'd be kind of fun. I know like Linksy, he's built a big battle arena where he spawns in all of his raids and just has like a villager underneath and he has like beacons throughout for full beacon buffs. So when he, he can just like absolutely just destroy raids. It looks really fun. Would, and like it still has a challenge to it. Like you still gotta be smart. You're not just destroying everything. But that type of stuff would be fun. Joining HCS10. No. As much as uh, I'm messing around with people on Twitter, no, I'm not. I already play HC. I don't. I don't need a new HC series. All right. How how confusing would it be if I had two HC series going on? So what if I was and I was just here like, yeah, <laughs> just <laughs> randomly out of nowhere. Some just random chatter asked. I'm like, yep, there it is. <laughs> Why is this redstone so rare? Like regular redstone, so rare. Ooh, we're right at, where did we make it out to? Oh my gosh, <laughs> we moved so far. Wait, we just popped out here. We started at the far side of the desert, all the way over here. That's, <laughs> I love doing that. When you come back out of a, like a caving session, you're like, where am I? <laughs> and you're just like somehow a few thousand blocks away. But yeah, we, we what, we jump. Hey, kitty cat. 
They live there. Did we jump down like... Yeah, I thought we were in that ravine. I thought we did jump down in there. I don't know. Any, any big caves in here? Hey! Wait, I want the rabbit's foot. I need that. For leaping. Imagine how much I can leap now with this rabbit's foot. Is Liz here? Liz will be mad at me if I if she saw that. So no, nobody tell Liz. Is Lobin gonna be mad too? See, I've also never done anything with bunnies in Minecraft, so we could do something with that too. Do you have sus sand? You do have sus sand. Do I have a brush? don't have a brush that's okay wait is it in this box i have wheat but no brush from the top rope rabbit is good when it's stewed in wine and beer imagine if minecraft adds beer the kitties are gonna love it it'll be like fortnite who I'm playing beer craft now. Do we have any other, like, just... Ooh, where does this ravine show down to? I'm, I'm just, like, poking my head in to see if there's, like, a big cave access somewhere. We can poke our head in slightly. See if there's any fossils. I'll do that. I'll, I'll give it another few minutes of hunting. I want big caves though. I don't want I don't want to look around in these little little teeny tiny little baby caves. I really want a deep sight one though. Like I, I don't, I, don't like I think of the deep sight one is just so much cooler. <laughs> Who knows? If we can't find one, maybe we <gasps> Wait, 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 wait. Wait. I mean it's it's not a deep sight one. But ask and you shall receive. Hey, hey, hey! Oh, baby. Look at that. We found a fossil. It's not even a rib cage one, too. Look at that. Okay. Light up the area. Is there like the rest of the body around here, maybe? Somewhere like slightly farther down in the deep slate lands? I think this is just a cold node. Right next to it, so I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna try and reveal as much as we can. If we see coal or bone, we don't break. But we'll try and I think this is one of the face ones. <laughs> Heck yeah! Yeah, these are, this is a coal node. That's fine. Yeah, because this is the front face of it. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, that's so fun. For those who don't know, uh, fossils are extremely rare in Minecraft as they can only spawn in two biomes. A fossil can only spawn inside of a desert and it can only spawn inside of a swamp. So, and they're very, they're pretty rare spawns too. They now can spawn all the way down to the deep site level. And you'll see the coal ore in here would be replaced with deep site diamonds. Because it's like that much more pressurized. Um, but yeah, so they come in a bunch of different shapes. Oh, this is so fun. Oh, we did find one. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, I'm really happy with this. So what's this? I'm assuming this is the face over on this side. Yeah, so this is like the front of the face. This one's really solid too. Or or it's something. What would this one be? 
we have this little opening here does anybody know what it is why are you on the search for fossils i don't know just for fun i have a, i have an idea to use one but i'm not fully committed to it yet yeah look at that i don't really know what this one is the forehead that's this is the back so this is the front huh i don't know it's an it's it's a head of some short some sort that's fun cool oh, i love that Yeah, there's like eight or nine different variants you can find. Rib cages are the largest, and they you if you find a deep slate diamond rib cage, like a deep slate layer fossil with a rib cage, there's like 40 deep slate diamonds in it. Okay, I'll have to come back and get this later. Um, I know where it is. And we can just do a little the best arrow you've ever done diddly seen that's probably a little bit better cool oh that's so fun that's two asking you shall receives this stream true 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 the smallest skull one-eyed yeah so we got the smallest one yeah Attractions for visitors from spawn. I think I'm going to take it out of there. I did in building with whip. Like I found the fossil there in a desert and I built a whole dig site around it, which was pretty fun. But I think for this one, I kind of want to. I don't know. We'll see. I think I've got an idea how to incorporate it. I'm not going to share it yet. Whip is actually an art major, if you didn't know. Whip is not actually an art major, if you didn't know. It's Mike Wazowski. <laughs> Whip is a computer science and business major. Sniffer? Nah, that, maybe. They were at a long time before it. We didn't know because it was wrong. <laughs> Actually, you're right. Didn't know that. Wow. <laughs> I feel like I've missed so many notifications. Uh, Jenny, if you're still in here from an hour ago, thank you for the 16 months. Grayson, thank you so much for becoming a supporter. Miss May, I think I got you. Yeah, I did. Thank you again for the one year. Mary, thank you so much for the 11 months. Mocha, thank you so much for becoming a member. And Otto, thank you so much for becoming a member. I really do appreciate everybody. It was very, very kind of you. Right, we've got four Diamundos already. Computer scientist to play Minecraft full time. Yeah, that's the dream, right? All right, 29 diamond ore. We've got four diamonds already. Let's see how many diamondos we can get out of this list right here. Oh, we're at a decent start. Please tell me it's over a stack. It's luck's turned to bad. Luck is not, not in our favor. Come on, fortune. That was... Terrible fortune rates. We average two diamonds. Aren't you with fortune three supposed to average three? Oh well, that's a stack of diamonds. That is seven diamond blocks towards the count of uh, where I only have uh, 25 diamonds. Yeah. Now you know why, uh, actually, we used to have like 60 diamond blocks and then I built all the armor trims <laughs> and that was a lot of diamonds. Add, add rod limbs to Mike Wazowski real quick, please. Fortune three gives 2.5 on average. Yeah. So we're a little under below average story of my life. What? 
what other ores do we have in here? We did get other side though, so that's that's gonna be a bop. Can't play it though because uh, people be inappropriately claiming it as copyright. It's so they sad. I want to do so much more with Minecraft, like music discs and things, and like play them and use them in videos, but. <laughs> There's so many people that illegally claim the music on YouTube that most of the copyrights I've ever gotten on YouTube are from me playing the Minecraft soundtrack, which is so dumb. Like you'd think of the one thing, the video, the legitimate video game that I am playing, I should be able to play the music from, but somehow people keep like Mojang's aware of it and they keep pushing, like they keep trying to fight it, but YouTube is so bad about the system. TK Ander, thank you so much for the 10 months at tier 2. Another month of membership on YouTube. So close to a full tree. Love the Cave and Chaos and Burrs today. Thank you for being awesome and a fun, chill streamer. Hey, thank you so very much. I appreciate it. Pleased to meet you. Anything in here? Dude, is this the first rabbit foot we were actually putting in storage? That I definitely really need a rabbit foot. And rabbit hide. Really, really need rabbit hide. Now, glow ink we store here. Yeah. Are these the only name tags I have? Do I have any other name tags? I got two in here. But I think these are like name named. No, they're not. They're just unnamed name tags. Okay, right. That's um, going to be where those go. And the rest of this pretty much goes down below. I really need to get some more storage room set up so we can slowly move out of this place. Lalika, thanks so much for the six months. There's a Spotify playlist that Mojang has released that allows you to play that. Yeah, I've seen that one. And I've also heard of people still getting copyright stricken for it. And it's not Mojang's fault at all. It's not them like, Please being, to like cop they're not copywriting me. It's not, it's people who are somehow u abusing the YouTube copyright system and saying, actually, I own this music and uh, I'm gonna copyright every single person that uses it when obviously they're not the real composer or owner of any of it. Um, oh, you go in here. So it just, it uh, even if, even though Mojang has been like, here's, here's these things, these are valid to use, you can use them all you want. Uh, we verify that they're there. There's other people who are seeing that opening and then are somehow getting something through the YouTube system. <clears throat> and fighting copyright on YouTube is one of the worst things to have to do. So I just avoid it. Anything I can do to avoid it, the better. Because if, if I'm fighting a copyright claim, I have to send so much personal information to the person who puts those c claims in that like, they don't even legally have the right to like be saying that they own the song but somehow by them doing that in order for me to prove that i have access to it i have to give them my first and last name i have to give them my personal email phone number my address and all these other things and it's somebody who is already doing something illegal to try and make a quick buck I'm like and i have to give them all that all my personal information too <laughs> like no 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 that's not how it's gonna go so I, I avoid that as much as I can. I'm just trying to stay safe on the internet. We got another golden apple, so we'll add that to that stack in there. Where can you verify what's copyrighted or not for YouTube? It's a whole third party system. So it's designed with like the music producers and artists in mind, which is great, but it's very easily abused. Yeah, you have to write like a paragraph explain it and provide sources to why you have access to use the music and like what you're doing it and then the person then they it's up to the person who's who's putting the copyright on you they then get to decide if they're gonna accept or decline your response um and if they decline it the only next option is going into legal battles and that's not financially worth it so it's, it's a mess of a system. YouTube is trying to improve it, but they're not doing a good job. Yeah, good intentions, terrible implementation. That sounds like most 
major websites. <laughs> Uh, yeah, YouTube system is not my favorite, but it has worked enough to give me a full-time job and I can do all this. So, I mean, there's, they do some things, right? Roglin, thank you so much for the 15 months at tier two. Loving the live streams. Hey, I really appreciate it. Thank you so very much, my friend. You could extend the tree roots into the lake near the city. Yeah, I want to expand them a little bit more. The proportion's not fully there yet, but we'll see. I don't know. We'll see where it goes. If it's already had an illegal claim, claim of course, this is they'd of course decline it. That's such a bad system. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so now what we do, thankfully, is I have the resources to reach out to Mojang or I have the resources to reach out to like YouTube partner managers directly and be like, hey, this thing is this is happening and this is not legit. Like this is this should not be happening. Like here's why and they handle it. So I don't have to submit my real information. At least if they're willing to listen to me in the time. So, all good stuff. But my friends, I got to go grab some lunch. And I got to get to the grocery store to buy some stuff for dinner tonight. Before all of the kiddos get out of school. And the grocery store turns into a zoo. With all the other uh, people going to buy food for dinner tonight. <laughs> Thank you so very much for being here. I really do appreciate it. Uh, I lost my hardcore world. I made so many builds I love. But I'll miss it so much. You can go again. Or you can just... Move it into a regular survival world. That's always an option if you're going to miss that one. But I mean, it makes it not a hardcore world anymore, but it's always an option. Thank you so very much, everybody, for being here. I really do appreciate it. Again, new hardcore video will be launching tomorrow. Super, super excited for it. It's a really, really good one. I hope you all do enjoy. Thank you all so very much for the support and everything today. Glad you enjoyed the stream or hang with me. We hit 1,349 likes. Oh, 53 likes. Look at that. We got four more. Thank you, everybody. I really do appreciate it. That's going to do it today. So I will catch you all on the flip side. Bye.